Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I was wearing this top last time. So for today's video, it's just going to be a bit of an extension of last video. This will be the last full dedicated video to One Mile and then we'll just get back to doing normal vlogging. But a bunch of you guys have asked for a haul on all of the clothing before it launches and it's going to be launching tomorrow by the time this video is up. Yeah. So I want to keep this video really short and sweet because I've also filmed a mini clothing haul on One Mile's Instagram. All of those details will be in a highlight as well on those stories so if you want to get a little bit more of an insight into the clothes. As for this video, I just wanted to answer a few last little questions um, that you guys might have. Most of the questions are on the sizing, so what sizes I wear, how long things are. Um, and what sizes we go up to. So on the website, which you guys will see tomorrow, all the sizes that I'm wearing um, in every image and all of the campaign images I've been in so far, I'm wearing a size 10 or a medium. Um, a lot of the knitwear are in sizes extra small to extra large and the cut and sew pieces are in 6 to 16. In this haul, I've been mixing and, ma mixing and matching a few of the garments, which I'll leave sizes on the screen for what I'm wearing um, with each piece so that you guys can see it a little differently in case you're wanting to see what something looks like a little bit more oversized and whether you wanted to see something a little smaller. For example, the New York set, I wore a size medium on the shoot and a small just in this haul now so you can see it look a little tighter um and same for my melbourne pants i wore these and my paris set a little um larger in this video so that you guys could see how that looks too a lot of you guys are asking whether it is made to be oversized it's not necessarily made to be oversized but it is made to be i guess looser fit yes for example like the paris top it's just a nice wide armed long sleeve um, it isn't supposed to be tight so if you were wanting that to look a lot tighter you could go down to a much smaller size but otherwise just take your size and it'll it'll give you that oversized look for barcelona for example in my last video i was wearing in a size 14 so that it looked more um oversized had that drapier effect to it this tokyo jumper comes in just small medium large because it is sort of made to be oversized this is just a medium so for your reference if you guys wanted to maybe do a little bit of a comparison with yourself to me and my measurements i'm 180 centimeters tall i have an 84 centimeter bust a 70 centimeter waist and 99 centimeter hips so maybe that can give you sort of a rough idea as to what size you would be if you just want to measure yourself and compare we have a really detailed size chart on our website which will be up tomorrow um, make sure you check that out if you guys are unsure on sizing all of all of this collection is pretty comfortable and the knitwear is stretchy so it just really depends whether you want to go and make it look really oversized or whether you're happy for it just to look like it's meant to fit you um yeah meant to be your size so it just really depends on what your preference is every garment on the inside has a care label we added cute little messages on the front of the care label but when you look and you flip to the back it shows you the actual care label instructions make sure you read them with the knitwear because you don't want to go and just throw this in the wash without a laundry bag or um, following the correct instructions because um, you don't want to ruin your garment you want to make sure you keep it as long as possible as for this Saint Tropez set I didn't have it here I've left it in Nick's car so I haven't included that in this haul but I'll make sure I jump on stories and um, give you guys a good look at what the Saint Tropez looks like as well because that's one of my favorite sets yeah otherwise I'm just going to I will have been overlaying videos over this the whole time and giving you guys a good look at the collection and an up close look and feel at the garments hopefully just get a better idea now and yeah i'm really looking forward to tomorrow if you guys do have any questions at all though tomorrow and you're confused about anything we will be on live chat so we've got a live chat um, aspect to our website as well as obviously a customer service email that you can send emails to but it's probably easier for you just to pop into the live chat and we'll try answer any of your questions remember everything is in aud so if you are in the us for example it's probably going to be around half price for you we have an option at the top of our website as well where you can put your currency uh, in and it'll sort of do an approximate conversion rate for you so you get a better idea of what the cost will be for you. We will see you tomorrow morning 
so excited thank you so much for the support as always we're so excited for you guys to get your hands on one mile like it's actually happening which is weird and mind-blowing but i'm so so excited see you soon in a new video um i'm gonna just do a vlog next week so we can just chat catch up because i feel like i haven't had a chance to just sort of like chill with you guys it's been very like information session i will see you very soon Mwah. bye